structure data examples for contact page. Whether you're operating an e-commerce site or a local business website, using structured data to your advantage will definitely help you see better results from Google. Let's imagine a typical contact page. And let's look at the source code to say, okay, how can we use structured data to better guide Google to treat this URL differently. And we do that by saying, scope of this HTML document, so therefore we can mark up the HTML tag. We can say item scope, as in the scope of this URL, this HTML page, is a type of contact page. Make sense? So that's one example for structured data. Because when Google analyzes the entire page content, it's going to you know, evaluate and thus rank the contents on this page accordingly. Let me show you an example. Let's imagine a local business. Remember, whether you operate a local business or an e-commerce site or a typical blog. If you want people to contact you, thus you have a contact page, then it's only smart that you mark up your contact page with schema markup for item scope, item type, contact page. Now I'll show you why, why as well. Your contact page is surely going to have your business contact information, right? But the way Google search engines work search engine works is that it's rather very primitive. It has to analyze the entire website. It has to analyze what's within the HTML document. That means it's going to look at the text. It's going to look at the images. It's going to look at buttons, links, whatever information we put, it's going to analyze. But when we specifically say, you know what, Google, this is a contact page. That means if someone was to search for contact information for this local business, then that's exactly what Google is going to show. It's going to show the contact us page because it knows I'm searching something to do with contact, contacting a, a business in this example. But what if I then turn around and say, okay, you know what? I want to know the phone number. Let me search that. Look what happens when I do that. Google turns around and uses its knowledge graph by saying, okay, if you want the phone number, contact phone number for this local business, then here it is. Now, remember, this is not coming from the website per se. This is coming from Google's knowledge graph. Make sense? So therefore, on this landing page, the telephone number, is marked up accordingly we're saying okay you know what when you want to find the contact in contact information and you want to find the phone number here's the the phone number in this example now this uh, json ld local business marker okay now in this example that i'm sharing with you do you have to use this no you don't have to use json ld marker you don't have to do that as long as you then say, okay, you know what? I want to mark up my website using structured data. Then you begin with HTML tag saying that's a contact page. Provide contact details for your business. Makes sense? Like your business, especially if you're a local business owner, you'll have your address, business name, phone number, email, and so on. Okay, so that's the basic stuff, so to speak, because you can really dive deeper to then say, okay, you know what? If I'm showing my phone number on this landing page, I can mark that, mark that up as item type, as an item prop equals telephone. Make sense? So you can do that as well. So you can specifically 
say that's the phone number but you know what Jason LD example is actually great for local business because you can then say contact point I'll zoom in to show you say well that's the type it's a contact point point of contact in this example contact type is customer service and here is the telephone number so therefore when Google analyzes this landing page and thus when someone searches for contact de details for a specific business it's going to show this information what if then we say how about email I want to find the email address make sense so in this example it hasn't shown the knowledge graph but you kind of get the idea so at the end of the day structured data is recommended by Google it's definitely going to help your Google results to be more prominent so to speak that's why you want to use structured data in the upcoming videos I will share with you different structured data examples such as about us page frequent last questions page and so on at the end of the day definitely consider using structured data I thank you very much for learning with me if you haven't subscribed to rank your YouTube channel then please do so because I will share with you great insights that will definitely help your Google ranking results and I'll talk with you in the next video session